Okay, so we finished making a puzzle in Gravit.io and we want to know how to submit it ready for making. You can see I have an image on top here and underneath the image I have all of my puzzle pieces ready to go. First thing you have to understand is this is a two stage process. The first stage is to send off a JPEG for the image that will be printed on a conventional printer. To do this, all you need to do is to get it to look exactly how you want and then come up to File, Export and set it to JPEG. Make sure the quality is as high as possible. And then when we're done, hit Export and the picture will download. Make sure to rename it with your name as part of it. This JPEG is printed in a conventional laser printer on slightly thicker than normal paper, very thin cardboard. The next thing we're going to do is to export the puzzle pieces. For now, we can click and delete anything that's not an actual puzzle piece. As long as you don't save, next time you open the document, they'll be back again. Now it looks like our puzzle pieces are ready to go here, but there's a common mistake that in all of the shape shifting that some get left behind. So if you drag a box to select the whole thing, you see I'm actually got one underneath here and the laser will follow every line, which means it'll cut down here and cut here. So instead of having one, two pieces, we'll have one, two, three, four pieces. So this needs to be fixed. To fix it, we click on the piece above where the shape is and we come up to the backward button and we keep on clicking it until the shape appears and we do the same for the other piece. Keep on clicking backward until the shape is back. So as before, click the shape, copy it, hold shift, click the other one and now we merge those two. And then we paste it back in place, hold shift, click the other half, and this time go to subtract. So now when I come around, it passes the test. All the pieces are individual pieces. There's nothing hidden underneath, and we're ready to export a second time. We come up to export, and this time we change it to PDF. None of the other settings matter. Click export, and the file will be downloaded and the PDF will preserve the vectors. In the laser software program, we can import the PDF. We can select all of the lines and then tell it what speed and settings we want the laser to run at. That will then calculate, it will clean up some of the files that overlap and it will give a really nice path to the laser ready to cut. The printed out JPEG 2D graphic is carefully loaded into the laser cutter and aligned with the corner. The laser will then follow the path that has been sent to it. And this is sped up by four times here, but it will trace around all of the vectors you have created in your software program of choice. In this case, we're going at five millimeters per second with a laser intensity of 95%. And that's enough to get a nice clean cut the whole way through the paper.